What's up, guys? Welcome to the latest episode of Barbells and Banter. So firstly, we start with talking about the benefits of maybe having a cleaner or maybe not, depending on who you are. Uh, we also talked about diet soda, aspartame, and you know some of the recent uh, findings that the World Health Organization have proposed um, and maybe you know some ways to interpret the new research. We also talked about critical thinking, asking questions, and why it's important to always ask one more question before you know, deciding your opinion on something. So as always, if you like the episode, give us a like, give us a share, give us a follow, maybe comment, give us a bit of an understanding of like what you think about, especially the diet soda situation. Um, and yeah, enjoy the episode. So a big moment happened um, during the week. I made the ascension to middle class. Middle class? Yeah, the full ascension to the middle class. Define it for me. You get a cleaner. Oh, hey. yeah. Yeah. It's... I feel like that's a... Does that mean I've fallen out of middle class? Well, look, no, like, you know, it's like you're solidified. Yeah. You're in the middle. Yeah. You know, maybe, you know, how there's like a range. Upper middle and lower middle. Yeah, I feel like I was probably just like peeking my head in. Yeah. You know, with my new house, my <laughs> my fancy car. It's like, oh, hey, look at me. And yeah. then I got a cleaner. Mm, it's the goat in it. Oh, you know how happy it made me? Yeah. Mm. Because it solves, because it's my old cleaner that I can't have it, anymore. It solves life's great <laughs> conundrum for yeah. me, which is, I love a clean house. I don't, like but it. I hate cleaning. Yeah, I'm and I'm so unskilled happy. at it. Yeah, I don't. I don't want. <laughs> I'm not willing to do the work though. Like you know, like if we wanted to get all motivational, it's like you want to. If you want this outcome, you got to do the work. When it comes to that, don't want it that much. Yeah, I just don't want it hard. I don't want it bad enough. Yeah, you know, I don't want a clean shower. Um, I. <laughs> Don't care enough. <laughs> well, I, I do. Like, I want a I, clean shower, but not to the cleanliness of, like, yeah. you got to get on all fours and, like, use some pretty toxic shit to, like... Yeah, and even then, like, you don't have the right stuff. No, you don't. You Definitely don't. don't. You they, they just have... Everything unlock. Yeah. And when I saw, like... If they're as good at what they do as we are at what we do, Yeah. and us trying to get as good would yeah. require too many repetitions, and yeah. it's just not worth it. You know what gave me a lot of confidence? You know how, like, first impressions are a thing? mm so it's like, you know, we talk about like the real estate agent that's like put together and he's got yeah. the nice car. It's like, you can't have too nice of a car. It's nice but you, here though. But, well, you still want it to be nice, yeah? Mm. And you still want it, you'd rather it be nice than not. Yeah, he used to have a um, VF SS. Yeah. So it, I liken that to- Upgraded to the family rig. I liken that to a person coming into the gym and seeing a personal trainer who looks yeah. in shape, right? Yeah. That gives them a lot of confidence, right? Mm. So I open this door- to my house and there's two middle-aged European women mm -hmm. who walk in. Oh, okay. And I was- Different crew. Yeah. And I was like, this puts so much confidence in me. A <laughs> little, little bit of an accent for one of them. She's like, oh, you Italian? I was like, no, I'm Maltese, but my wife's Italian, whatever. I was like, yeah. I've got these two fucking nonnas to be going <laughs> to come in and clean my house. I'm like- You'll end up with lunch and a coffee. I was like, I know <laughs> this place is going to be fucking spotless. <laughs> Because if my nonna and, and Steph's nonna are anything to go by, yeah. it's like, it's just, yeah. yeah they have done the reps. Yeah, they're machines. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And then, yeah, like once they left, I was just like, I want this ha to happen every week. Yeah, That's the worst part. Yeah. 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 It's the smell. Do I, it's, did oh, you say and you lock yourself in the office? I fucking hate being home when anyone's in my house. I hate it. Yeah. I took the dogs for a walk and then I had to work. So I just said like, look, I don't mean to be rude, but- I need mm -hmm. you to clean this first. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really want to boss them around. They're like, oh, we'll do upstairs first. And I'm like, well, not really. Yeah. I think this is how it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they were fine. You know, I was trying to be very accommodating, making them feel very comfortable. But I think like they're going to do a different day and I don't have anything on. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, just, I'll be back by the time you're finished. Yeah. Amy and you I know? used to do cafe dates. Yeah. It's like wave to them. Yeah. They came in the front door as we went out. Well, it depends because it just depends how weird Mav is yeah because if he starts walking on the door yeah I need to be home yeah it's like, <laughs> like that yeah little fuck is wearing me down right now <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud I'm proud that he's become a man yeah and yeah but I did not know that male dogs with who haven't been desexed get have a bad time yeah they get heavily aroused when another dog is in the neighborhood that's ready to go yeah so that is been a very big challenge yeah they go through fences and all sorts of shit yeah he's mm. he's mm. full on yeah. Wait, like he won't leave Steph alone yeah it's just like it's, I love the pecking order it's like so it's me Cleo <laughs> then him and then Steph so like 
we were wondering like why Cleo was acting weird. We're like, oh, maybe she, you know her autoimmune's flared up and she's a bit moody and shit. Like you know, <laughs> and it's just like she knows that he's like. Toey, so she's like, don't fucking touch. Yeah, me. yeah, just like putting him in his place. <laughs> so I'm off limits. He's just obviously like, yeah, I got no chance. Yeah, with the alpha dog. Yeah, so he's just like, All right. <laughs> Cleo's not an option. I'm gonna go for mum. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, imagine yeah. though. It's oh yeah, well, yeah. I read on the internet. Apparently, they can get like raging boners. Yeah. <laughs> They're like hurt. Yeah, yeah. So I feel bad. For imagine him. going that long without. Anything. Yeah, not knowing. Well, he knows now. Yeah. I just wonder how they know. It's like, no, you never saw anything. Like, yeah. we obviously got, like, you know, the, at, the, at the end of the day, you worked it out because of what you saw. You didn't just sit here and be like, oh, this goes in a vagina. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, you just never, like, he just knows. It's yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah. He's but like, yeah. He's just, it should be um, hashtag and no fap. But, um, no fap, Maz. Mav. There's uh holes in the he's digging holes in the backyard and um there's a dog next door behind us, mm-hmm. but they also have chickens and they're on the back fence. Oh god. Yeah. So I was like I'm like there's a battle between the dogs and I like I push the, the rocks back and they dig them back up. <laughs> and I've learnt my lesson in the past because people are like, Oh, just put poo in it or like, mm. you know, something. I'm like, No, because no. they just dig new holes. Ah, I see. Yeah, well, it, my yeah. very intelligent dogs will yeah. just go, I'm just going to destroy. So, I'm just yeah. like... I think Indy did that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm like <laughs> moving these stones and I can hear, just hear this like... Boop, boop, boop. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they've been... My dogs have been breaking the palings of the fence. Yeah. They're so smart, man. Like, they know... like how, They break the right paling so it falls off. They don't break the one that over, uh, overlaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the, one, the one that overlaps, they'll break it. The other one, they won't. Yeah. And I'm just like... Okay, I get it. Like, you just want lunch. <laughs> you want lunch to There's come. There's a early. thing over there and imagine, I want to eat it. Imagine having that conversation with your neighbor. Like, so my dog's like broke into your backyard and killed your chicken. Yeah. And it's in my yard. <laughs> Soz. <laughs> it's your own fault Such for buying a- chickens. We've got two oh, look, fucking German shepherds over the back. Uh, I don't, look, uh, there's some animals that don't belong in a suburban backyard and fucking chickens as well. <laughs> yeah. When you, then your house is literally surrounded by dogs. I was going to say, there's yeah. like five big dogs around there. It's yeah. Like, why yeah. would you? It's not a they good have choice. a big dog. It's not a good choice. Yeah. I mean, arguably, I'd question how it gets treated, but anyway, this is not the, yeah. not the place for that's, it. Is that the house that Cleo's always trying to bash into? Nah, that's next door. This one's know. the one behind us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Lots happening. Yeah. Lots going on. Yeah. All the right. clean is good. Yeah, clean yeah. is great. We, um, I think we'll be back on the, on the train. We've just got to find someone that's willing to do monthly up there. Yeah. Because we had the flexibility because it was... It's very niche. Send her here. Yeah. Send them here once a... Well, once a month. <laughs> Our place once a month means it's fortnightly. Of course. And they were like, yeah, we can do that. But month- yeah. monthly, they weren't keen. They were pretty adamant on uh, monthly with me. There was no other option. Yeah, because they would have the same spot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So hopefully I can find monthly up there. Because it's, it's pretty four, good value. It's too expensive to do... Fortnite. Yeah, I I think monthly's good. Like if you keep on top of your house, yeah. like we still clean. Yeah, but it's just like, uh, Ash, like shit. the dogs dirty the floor, they do the tiles, like the showers. Like we're not good at it. I don't yeah. want to be like around fucking bleach and shit. Yeah, and it's like to do that big deep clean once a once a month. It's like I want that time yeah. to either do nothing. Dare yeah. I fucking say it? Yeah, or just do the shit that I feel like. Yeah, and be better. <laughs> at just a way money. better transfer of funds for uh, time. Energy. Yeah. Yeah. If if money is energy, <laughs> then that is a transfer. Hundred percent. Just yeah. mental capacity. Yeah. It's one of those things, though, that I think people, like, really get weird about. Yeah. Like, it's an expense that yeah. people are like, you can't do that. Yeah. Like, it, it's one of those ones where you have the conversations like, yeah, but you... It's, I've, I've, a, it's few a, people, slab. a lot of people have been very uh, supportive of it. That's good. Yeah, which I yeah. thought would be... We had a lot of pushback. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Anytime yeah. I posted about it, yeah, uh, it was like, I would get at least half a dozen. Yeah. Must be nice. Must be nice. Yeah. Uh, Cleaners in the house, I'm going to go play golf. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I never did that, thankfully. I'm going to do that now. Always went and worked. <laughs> Just um, really got to push the button. <laughs> <to> be, uh... <laughs> but yeah, it's an interesting yeah. thing. Because it's, yeah, it's like, a, it's one of those, I don't know, it's like you're not supposed to. Yeah, I just think anytime you can trade off the, the time and the value for that, mm. and you can justify it for yourself, yeah. why not? Yeah, but if you post it, it's if you posted a nice restaurant with your wife, and mm. spent two hundred. Oh yeah, a that's meal, no problem. That's fine. 
Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's, this is a weird trigger thing. That I... It's probably just because of a misconception of you see pe- in the movies. Yeah, people mm. who have cleaners have gigantic houses. Yeah, it's like a yeah. Scrooge McDuck thing. Like you think you're yeah. better than someone else. I don't know. And like people don't realize how do much it actually doesn't cost. Well, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that that could be. Probably it too. think it's more expensive. Yeah, it's than even it like the car. Like yeah. <laughs> when we got our Mercs and shit, like people thought I was like just printing cash. I'm like, your car's one, your car's more expensive. Than yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. And one like I didn't buy it and yeah. walk up with a big bag of cash. Yeah, and be like, yeah. Oh, one Mercedes, please. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's least. Yeah, I just yeah. don't drink and smoke and <laughs> and spend that instead. Yeah, 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 and I don't waste my money. Or well, it's not even a waste. Like some people, oh, you spend waste for me. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not sitting on sports bet and fucking yeah. pouring shit into sport, you know. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, for absolutely no real, I'd, I'd like to pretend it's for a moral reason. It isn't, <laughs> but I think Australia needs to ban gambling advertising. It's so bad. Oh, 100 percent, it does. Like I'm, I'm, I know it destroys families and it's really, really bad and mm. it's a terrible thing and all of that. I acknowledge that. But honestly, just the ads. Oh, the ads themselves? They fucking do me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Australian yeah. ads in general are trash. Yeah. And the, the betting ones are the trashiest of trash. Yeah, I just don't know why they can do... I don't even know how they can do it when mm. you can't really like advertise other stuff. Yeah. It's like really... Yeah. You, know, you can't advertise cigarettes. And it's like, oh, we'll Drinking get now, isn't it? Big pressure on the health system. It's why, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, but like... Yeah. What if someone's like heavily addicted to gambling? So it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole message is to make it fun. Yeah. And I, I love the, and... I love the like just at the end, like, yeah, but gamble responsibly. Yeah. Just, you never, you never win more than you lose or whatever. Just do that. Just do yeah. that one thing. All right. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. So I thought I'd let everybody <laughs> keep everyone uh, updated on my, uh, this, my sleeping situation with Emma. <laughs> I know. Uh, yep. His new sleeping arrangement. Yeah. And that thing's not going back. It's good. Got a hundred day guarantee. I threw the box away. Mm-hmm. Very That's good. That's it. Very good. Yeah. Wife's happy. I'm happy. You know what I also like? I don't know about if you guys like to do this. So I used to have a contoured pillow. Mm-hmm. So the, the the deal with the contoured pillow was the shape of it will encourage you to turn on your side. Yep. <clears throat> and then you have the optimal sleeping posture. But I don't like when my pillow gets hot. Yep. So what I like to do is flip my pillow. Mm-hmm. So I like to feel the coldness. Yeah. So what I have a system now. <laughs> so I'll, <laughs> I'll go to bed and I may watch a lot of YouTube before I go to sleep. It's poor sleep hygiene. Yeah. Like well, yeah, I can get to sleep and wake up feeling rested, whatever. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then just before I go to sleep, I flip my pillow. It's nice and cold. I like it. And I love it. I like it. It's just one of those you know, those little little pleasures so, that I get. Speaking of... Sleep hygiene and comfort. Yeah. Last episode, we talked about the casein. Oh, yeah. Bro. Casein and a banana. The Muscle Nation one you talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, At 9 p.m. Demons. Means absolute, just wild night sweats. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slack. Let's digest all of this protein and these carbohydrates. Fuck. I would have, been, I would have assumed like that it would help just- you sleep better. I sleep pretty good until I wake up just mm. saturated. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in a deficit at the moment? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best fucking answer ever. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, funny. like, if you're heavily depleted, like, I would argue it would help you sleep better. Yeah. Because, you know, they have... Um, yeah, net, net I am. I'm definitely... Yeah. Because yeah, when, you, when you're when you in a deficit, like, you can... Your body will like kind of access fuel overnight, yeah, and it can elevate stress hormones, obviously, to convert that body fat to yeah. fuel. So having some your carbohydrates pre bed will just mm. give you enough to get you through the night. Yeah, and then obviously the protein's the protein, but yeah, <laughs> fuck, that's a great answer. Net, net <laughs> sometimes, <I am. laughs> sometimes. Um, the old net, but like, week. yeah, you know, I don't know if you, I'm sure you've experienced it when you just like you feel like you're actually burning through things. Oh, that's fucking me nearly every night. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. I haven't had it for ages because I've been like getting skinny yeah. boy. Fuck. 
Yeah, I'm always. Training sometimes I feel like I'm glowing. Yeah. In the middle of the yeah, night. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually a super yeah. saiyan. Right my last, yeah, my, <laughs> my last meal of the day is core too. Like maybe that's why. Yeah. At my core. So I don't know what yeah. to do. But it didn't, like, it must be the protein. It's probably the, therm- the thermic effect of the food. Because I've been having ice cream. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm sometimes oh. in a deficit. Oh, now. well, you must swap it then. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> have to go back to ice cream. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so it has to be the protein. It's probably got, yeah, it's probably the thermic effect of it. Yeah. Nice slow release over the night too. Yeah. Who knows? That's very interesting. I still wake up hungry. Yeah. It doesn't change. There's I- just a machine 4am hunger pains always really yeah 4am yeah if yeah. i wake up you know, it doesn't wake me up oh yeah no it's worse if i eat more yeah mm. that's really interesting i've never been that hungry oh actually no i have lately where i wake up i've been to bed because i've been hungry yeah you know you're, you're that hungry you're just like there's nothing else to do yeah. so one of my clients sent me a message she's like i'm that hungry i'm going to bed <laughs> <laughs> i get it i get it i mean how dare you be hungry in a deficit no that's way. not the right way to do things more. that's yeah. right i'm a bad coach Lol. how dare me because <laughs> you you can lose body fat and not be hungry yep all right yeah let me know how that goes yeah me too generally not well it doesn't if you're chasing it <laughs> But yeah, that that's my biggest struggle at the moment. So I think I might have to put my Ula back on. Yeah. So cool, that's cool that cools down. a division of the bed, right? Yeah. So it's dual zone. So Amy can have warm. Yeah. And I can have cold. Yeah. So half the problem is, I don't know if this happens to you. If the room is cold, I'll hide in the blankets. And then because I've hidden in the blankets, I'm too hot in the blanket. Yeah. So then I sweat. And then because I'm so hot, trying to get out of the blanket, it's even colder outside the room and it just becomes this what whole a, thing. One of life's great conundrums. So the sound of it. if you make your mattress cold. <laughs> Does it always stay the same temperature? Yeah. You can set it. Wait, the all is the mattress? It lays it's like a cover. Oh, it's kind of yeah. like a... It's, it's like the like a blanket. The, it's like a heated blanket. But opposite of the... Not. Uh, yeah. Just like a protective... It's got an air conditioner in it. <laughs> is, it yeah. is it noisy? Yeah. 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 Is it like that white noise though? Yeah, it's consistent. It's fine. Yeah, I fucking love that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> At our old house. You just have both all this running and yeah. then a portable air conditioner with the pipe. Yeah, Remember the one with yeah, the so just <laughs> Fuck, <it's> so loud. <laughs> and he's like, it sounds like a plane's taking off in here all yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping in. Sometimes airport. we sleep It was the it. best. And then we'd go away and I'd be like, it's fucking so quiet. Yeah. I hate it. I can't yeah. handle it. We have a fan, a portable one, and sometimes we turn it on and just point it away from us so, so that noise. yeah you just it just washes out the noise yeah yeah Mav can be real bad too like if he hears noises in the street yeah because he's a very protective dog yeah, yeah, so yeah. he's like whoa, whoa, you know like I've lost a couple of nights yeah. just from him barking out of nowhere just <laughs> like fucking launch out of bed like oh you know what fucking Steph did to me right bro so we're dead asleep I'm asleep no we're both asleep and she's having a dream a oh, nightmare no. She wakes up, bro, and she goes, she <laughs> she wakes up, hits me, and says, there's somebody in the house. Oh, fuck. So just think about that. I'm dead asleep. And like, so I'm, I'm like, Ugh. up, like, what, what did you just say? What the fuck? She's like, there's somebody in the house. And my heart was just pounding. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, no, it's okay. I just had a dream. <laughs> And then just went back to bed. <laughs> and then so I'm like, fucking, my heart is just boom, boom. You know, and the dogs are like, what the fuck did you guys, what's <laughs> happening here? And I was like, all right, well, there's, I've lost the days where the heartbeat's there. So there's 48, 24 hours of my life on the other side gone. Man. <laughs> the joys of sharing a bed. I think the worst one we've had, we had Shadow at our place. <clears throat> they were asleep on the windowsill. Like yep. looking out and one of them must have like kicked in their sleep <laughs> and they, f- they fucking kicked off yeah snarling barking yeah like but Amy was between me and the windows so I've just like leapt up just throwing hands wherever I could and just hope I don't get ripped apart and just screaming at them to stop yep and <laughs> I sat back down and Amy's just sit there and she just like slowly starts to cry I'm like what what's wrong like 
did you get scared? Like, are you okay? She's like, no, I'm just useless. I just laid here. Yeah. <laughs> she's so upset that like she did nothing. She's oh. like, fuck if it was a robber. Like you always like to think oh, no, you'd done. have it handled. Oh, you're done. But, and she was like, and you were, you just like, you were straight up. And I was like, nah. Yeah. She, <laughs> if there, if I, I would, you're done. If you're dead sleep, yeah. And someone comes in your house, you're fucking oh, dusky, bro. Every every time I've been in a situation that's felt like that at the time, I've reacted very well. Yeah, okay. I'm, I, I I'm just think I ability. would just be a mess. Just so like your, oh, here's your the answer keys. your answer to Amy should have been thanks, it's the trauma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> she goes to me one time when we're watching Vikings, she's like, Do you think I'd make a good Viking? Yeah. I was like, No. Nah. She was so upset, I'm like, babe, yeah, you can't. You're yeah. like the kindest human on planet yeah. Earth. This this era is not for you. Nah. She'd be the this she could be a, like a seer. Yeah, hundred percent. People confide in her for something. like yeah. It's yeah. like what's gonna happen to me? It's like potions but, yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah you, you ain't you ain't like not on the battlefield. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I love no, you. No but... shield maiden training yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like seventeen, maybe. So we made these ice picks at school. When I say ice pick, like foot long curved solid piece of steel on the mm. top. One end was like sharp, uh, square face sharpened, and the other end was like ice pick, long, pointy. For for the winters in Shepparton. Yeah, just like <laughs> we think everyone here just should fun. make one of these. What the fuck? <laughs> we just made it in um, tech. Uh, it was like the welding class you had to. Yeah, I yeah. get it. It's anyway, just a very random thing to make so you should in a have very started hot place. With that. <laughs> get it. It had a big wooden handle on it and everything. And because I lived in Shepparton, of course, when it came home, it went under my bed. Because yeah. that is where it should be. Wow. Well. So, dad had gone out with his workmates one night and he was, I don't even think he was home yet. And one of his mates came through the house. What I didn't realize at the time was just yelling Scotty. And I think he was just like coming in to annoy dad and just like started banging on doors and shit. So, he's opened my door to me with an ice pick, like ready, like open the door, motherfucker. (laughs) And luckily I knew him. As soon as I saw his face, I was just like, oh, fuck. I'll just yeah. put that down. He's like, oh. I'm like, yeah, that was not going to end well for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's been a couple of situations I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've got it. Yeah. When I need it, I've got it. Yeah. I reckon if I was deep sleep and someone got in the house, I'd just be like, take whatever you want. <laughs> I'm yours. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't hurt my dogs. Don't hurt my wife. Yeah. Take whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> don't break anything. Yeah. On your way out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you take, just make sure there's no mess. Yeah, so I'd probably do nothing if they were stealing <laughs> shit. Mm. But if I felt like Amy was threatened, yeah. or I, I was just expect my dogs to just lift in that situation. Yeah, it's like all this time I've taken care of you. It's time it's for you time. to take care of me. It's time. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. wonder if Indy still got it. I, I she worry. Would. I worry she doesn't. I reckon she would. <clears throat> she just might miss the foot. <laughs> she can't <Like>. see. <laughs> she, <laughs> she might just make a lunge. Fall off the yeah. bed or something. She might make a lunge and just miss the leg. Fuck yeah. hell. Guess you have to get a new dog. Yeah. Damn. Don't, don't fuck Amy. Amy, don't listen to this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, not now. That's bad timing. Yeah. Or maybe if you get it now. Don't, because okay. that's what her argument is. <laughs> so no, Jason. Look, I'm on her side. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm on her side. Fuck yeah. yeah. A puppy and then a baby. What a fucking combo. That's bad. And like, Amy's never raised a big dog. Yeah. She doesn't it's very different. get it. Yeah. Like if she had a Jack Russell cross as like her childhood yeah. dog. I'm like, you don't understand. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> it's a different ball game. Yeah. And like everything we like it's are big. working dogs. Yeah. Not so just give it time and yeah, energy needs and stuff. work. And it's like, yeah. we already have a dog that doesn't like other dogs. Yeah. Not doing that again. I got two of them. It's just, yeah. Yeah. The, to, it has to be, has to be right. Yeah, I get it. And I also worry that like, would you adopt? Like an older dog? Some of them have some oh, baggage. If all depends. of them are like, don't suit other dogs, don't suit that, families. Yeah, the so hardest part is it's pr- the profile. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Yeah. So I'd probably get a pup. We thought about getting a third one because it's like, once you have two, you're kind of already fucked. <laughs> I think people say that about kids. <laughs> <laughs> but like all the things that are detrimental about having two, like three doesn't change it. Yeah, still shit. <laughs> the only thing is like, it's another $30 a week to feed. Feed, yeah. And you've got the vet bills and shit. Yeah. But other than that, it's like... It still sucks. It's three, three times the joy. <laughs> oh, three times the dog hair too. Because we probably get another shepherd as first well. First thing my mind comes to is like, if it worse comes to worse, three. you only have two hands though. Yeah. You can't pat three. I only have so much room in my fucking bed too. Yeah. 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 It's 
wild. Yeah, you like start to be, him. I feel like you start to get on like crazy dog, man. I think three is the max, but it is still questionable. Yeah. Mm. Three is like, you could be crazy. Any more than three, you're crazy. I'm asking why you have three at yeah. that point. Why well, have you kids? Yeah. Yeah, but that's, I'm like, how yeah. come? Two's how come you, I don't want no, no, no. How come, you, how come you have three dogs? What's going on there? And you're like, oh, I don't want children. I'm like, okay, but I'm still watching you. <laughs> I still got my eye on you. There's yeah, too yeah, many. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. All right. So it's not, it's not acceptable. I'll, I'll just can the idea. <laughs> Based on my Don't want to be crazy. On my opinion. Don't want to be crazy. Yeah, it just seems like a lot. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Yeah. I feel I like- love a puppy though. Yeah, I, I don't still got PTSD from... Well, it's been 13 years for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's only been three for me. It's still raw. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's still a puppy. I feel like he hasn't grown out of it. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's why. Yeah. Would you be it's a like... one-man, one-dog man, Ben? Yeah, I reckon. Still, yeah. Yeah, I think lifestyle-wise, like, and you know, like the challenge of having two is yeah. having them looked after. Being where we are now. True. Yeah. Like, I feel bad enough dropping Indy here. Yeah. Because I know she's going to be a pest. Yeah. So if there's two... And they get along. You can't drop them off. Too. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Never done it. I've yeah. got to get people to come to my place. And yeah. I want to go away for like four, week, four weeks next year. Yeah. So it's I tough. don't even know how that's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay someone to work, look after my dogs in my house while I'm on holiday. Yeah. It's the only logical thing I can think of. Yeah. Yeah. And I think like with kids and stuff, Tam too, like maybe if they're older too. Yeah. But yeah, knowing that we want two kids, that mm. means that there's yeah. going to be... One dog's good. One's enough. Don't turn into one of those people that doesn't like their dog after they have their kids, please. Um, it happens. Amy, so. Amy made the comment the other day. She's like, you know, we're going to have to teach Indy to not get on the bed. And I was like, good luck with that. Yeah. And, nah, that's and she just goes, that. yeah, you're right. A hundred, if 100% <laughs> of your life you've done something, there's no chance you're going to change yeah, it. Yeah. We've literally planned so you can get, this is an insight into my life now. <laughs> you can get adjustable height they're called co-sleeping beds. Yeah. So it's a bed for the baby, yeah. but it attaches almost to your bed. So if Amy needs to feed in the night or whatever, she can just roll over. Kids there, all good. <laughs> I was like, is this like, is it sectioned off though? Yeah, so it'd be like a cot. Oh, okay. But it's it'd... connected to your bed. Yeah. yeah. Like walled in. Yeah. 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 So it can't fall off the other <laughs> yeah, side. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is it? I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's like, that has to happen because yeah. the dog's going to be in the bed. And yeah. four of us won't fit. Mm. So <laughs> that has to be the solution. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. The steps at the end of the bed must stay. <laughs> he must be allowed. She's been she's been cheeky. She started so she used to come up when the sun as soon yeah. as she saw sunlight, she'd come on the bed. And then it hit winter. And it was like the sun doesn't come up for ages. Yeah. So when you go to the toilet, I'm gonna get in the bed. But that's like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So now it's yeah. Yeah. The bed's just clear. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes like I'll come upstairs and she's just on the bed. Yeah. I, I love how if... the dogs take themselves upstairs. Like they just I'm gonna go up here. They just do, do yours go to bed? Yeah, they just take themselves yeah. wherever the fuck they want. Mine doesn't anymore because yeah. Indy used to we have her bed out in the house now when we're in Point Cook. She used to like being at the front of the house to protect it. Now yeah. there's too much shit in the way, so she can't really Yeah. Because we got bedrooms recessed from ensuite and yeah, yeah, yeah. walk in. Um, so, but she used to just go to bed. She's like, "All right, I'm fed. I've got my yeah, cuddle." Is, she she I'm did done. it here the other week. Yeah, when the Grand Prix was on, we were getting ready. Shadows on the couch as well. It was like, "Where's Indy?" Oh, she's just off on Michael's bed. Yeah, she's like, "No, nah, fuck that. I'll watch it in the morning." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, like I do at home. <laughs> oh, funny. Yeah. Do we have anything yeah. just, like proper to talk about? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm just waiting. Like, we just kept the conversation. Like, how long has that been? How long has that been? Like, do we have a new just record? Just under 30 in. Ooh, that's another record for banter. Yeah. 30 is good. 45 is a bit much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we, 45 is a record, right? Tam <laughs> thinks 45 is too much because then we do an hour and a half because we still yeah. talk about the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I can't cut as many clips out of this hogwash that you're talking about. <laughs> so I have, I have All right. a beef. What's up, guys? Welcome to the STC Fit Podcast, where we talk about all things nutrition, training, and how to live your best life. If you want some more information about coaching, our free resources, and other fitness-related content, be sure to check us out on our website at www.stcfit.com. All right, let's get to the episode. Ready, everyone? Let's strap yourself in. There's no fucking no hope on this podcast. Just throwing it out there, all right? (laughs) There will be no hope. You will be made to feel inferior. So I want to have 
the diet drink conversation. Yeah. I want to have it in a way to get people to understand who don't understand. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of reasons why that. And I need, I want people to start to realize their own kind of thought process behind it, which will help them in the future with many different things. Yes. So diet drinks have always been a topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, people are like, are they safe? Are they not? It's do they do this? Do they do that? Like, yeah. Diet Coke's worse for you. That's always been the thing. And most people who say that shit don't actually actually ever do the due diligence mm -hmm. of going to have a look and investigate for themselves. <clears throat> and that's where my biggest problem is. Mm -hmm. But the World Health Organization... So there's some new findings. They just were like re-researched and re-had a look at like everything involved in like what's involved in consumption of aspartame and what does the research decide and these two committees came together and said these are our findings mm -hmm. and so what's happened is they've basically said that from the findings that aspartame could be potentially mm -hmm. carcinogenic mm -hmm. so if, if anybody doesn't know what carcinogenic means it gives you cancer it means that it could give you cancer well carcinogenic means give you cancer but this was potentially mm -hmm. So now, so now that was enough apparently for the people that have the bias mm. that they're bad to go and say that they're bad. Mm. So I was like, okay, the last time I checked, you would have had to have consumed, I think for my body size, 36 cans of diet <laughs> soda a day for there to potentially be some no form risk. of harm, harmful side effects because it's all it's hard when they don't do like human trials That's like right. it's done That's on rodents and shit yeah. yeah so then they just have to do the milligrams per kilo yeah because i'm a hyper responder i'd probably flush it out more so i'd be able to have more <laughs> anyway 50 years yeah that's it fuck it so i thought i'll go and have a look whatever so i went on the world health organization's website and i have fucking done a lot of homework for this so just give me a moment Awkward silence. <laughs> My beef is nobody has actually read the finding, mm. right? No one's actually gone on the website because if you go on there, it clearly cites that the committee has reaffirmed that it is safe for a person to consume within the limit per day, the previous limit per day, for example, with a can of diet soft drink containing 200 to 300 milligrams of aspartame, an adult weighing 70 kilos... Mm -hmm would need to consume more than 9 to 14 cans per day to exceed the acceptable daily intake, assuming no other intake from other food sources. Whoa. Interesting. So so what's 2 liters in cans? 2 it's liters to be 6. So 40 oh. the the recommendation is 40 milligrams of aspartame per kilo of body weight. Mm -hmm. And the average can, I don't know where they got the 200 to 300 from cuz I went on I also did some research on the average mm. aspartame content in a can of drink. Yeah. I could only find between 80 and 130. Yeah, and they've got 300. And they've got two to 300. Interesting. So if my findings are correct, you could double that. Yeah. I don't know anybody who's drinking... I don't know anyone who's drinking nine cans a day. Mm. And that's still within the safety, safe limit. My, yeah, my most extreme would be two liters because we have the... So to stream. Yeah. But yeah. I also would suggest that the cordial that we use and the ratio that we mix at would be even lower than the cans. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if that's not enough, don't worry. I've got more. So on the I'm reading from the World Health Organization website. So citing limited evidence... For carcinogen carcinogenicity, gee, say that fucking ten times <laughs> in humans. Uh, the boards, both boards who did this this mm -hmm. study or this this research, reaffirmed that it is still acceptable to have that forty milligrams per kilo. Mm -hmm. So there's limited evidence, right? Yeah. Do you base any of your findings, your total biases, on limited evidence? No. Agreed. Now, I think if you want to drink water, drink water and shut the fuck up, leave the rest of us alone. Even with the limited evidence, right? Because I tried to go down the rabbit hole and yeah. I, I went on like that AI website that like kind of summarizes mm -hmm. all of the Studies, data that it yeah. can find and shit. You just got to get really good at asking the right question. Mm. Every, nearly every single one of them 
the study was almost observational. Would that one so, of the questions I was going to ask is how much of this is like the red meat thing, where it's like people who drink lots of diet coke also buy McDonald's a lot. Correct, because you can find a link for anything. Like if I yeah. say to you, like, oh, um, we asked a bunch of frogs to jump um, after we cut their legs off. Yeah. So when you cut the legs off a frog, it goes deaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can fu- yeah. you say whatever you fucking want when you like ask the right question and kind of yeah. look for the right thing. Yeah. So. Did you make up that analogy? Uh, well, I just did right then. Yeah, that's uh, really good. Like thank it. you. There you go. I probably stole it from someone. Do you know analogies it's... are a sign of intelligence? Yeah. <sighs> just dusted my shoulders <laughs> off here, guys. Here I am trying to work on my vocabulary. I just need to get better at my allergy analogy game. Yep. Um, so, yeah, like when you kind of take it another step further for these people that like go and, you know, oh, it's not, you know, there's an article and it has evidence and there's a, there's a scientific study. You've got to understand how the scientific study has actually been put together. Yeah. For you to take that on as a gospel decision to be like, I'm never drinking diet soda again. Yeah. Or at worst, tell other people. Yeah. The amount of people that say, that are told me like, isn't, oh, that's really bad, yeah? And it's like, then it's pulling out, oh, actually, I'll get to that tangent in a moment. <laughs> but how the study is put together is really important. Because mm. you can find this link to anything. And then even inside of that, if you look at the populace that they're really kind of looking at when it comes to like diets and stuff, it's like it's it's most likely like sick people. Yeah. You know, people that are going to have like yeah, pre-existing yeah. conditions to other stuff. So they're going to be like, oh, these people drink lots of diet soda and aspartame and then they have this. And then they, they you know, of this 500,000 people, like 30,000 of them all have this, this and this. So we can say that there's a percentage of these people that if you drink aspartame and blah 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 that you're going to have a, a predisposition to x y and z yeah it's like have you looked at their lifestyle mm. have you looked at the fact that they're probably like 25 30 kilos overweight yeah they probably got all this information from all this, this like body fat and this inactivity and like visceral fat and blah 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 it's like come on yeah it just like really kills me when we don't have the ability to critically think like that yeah yeah, yeah. one thing a mantra that I think is worth living by in everything at all times is ask one more question. Yeah. Okay, so aspartame's bad. Why? Because the World Health Organization said it is. What did they say? They said it's carcinogenic. Did they? Have you read it? They said it's potential. Oh, no, I haven't. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go read it. What did they say? Oh, they said that it's fine if you have up to fucking 18 cans a day. Like, okay, okay. so it's fine? Mm. Yeah, it's fine. All right, cool. And it's like, if you just ask one more question Feels. all the time about anything, mm. you'll probably find the answer. We I were agree. just talking about like with coaching, how like if it didn't get you strong, if, it, if people were getting strong without it 20 years ago, yeah, you haven't found it. You haven't reinvented the wheel. Yeah, mm. stop it. Like, <laughs> stop thinking about it. <laughs> it's like I'll ask yeah. one more question like did people mm. get results when they did this yes yeah. why do you think they got results when they did this or maybe it was an it was like the the bro diet thing mm. it's like oh they they managed energy balance yeah that's like it's an ind- sure now we can move on and say that okay there's a flexible approach to dieting that's probably mm. much easier to maintain over an extended yeah. period of time you don't have to eat chicken rice and broccoli forever correct but you only get there by asking more questions because mm-hmm. it's the same like the red meat one will come up in another 18 months now <laughs> aspartame yeah, again cancer and shit. yeah and it's just like the the studies they do on people are subjective reports yeah based on the population where they ask them how much aspartame do you have have you <coughs> ever had cancer yeah and that's all of the questioning yeah and there's like a lifestyle questionnaire i think on top of that and most people that aren't conscious about their nutrition would eat like heavily pro- processed red meat yeah. And then it's like, you know, they smoke cigarettes, they don't train, they don't drink enough water, they don't have their two serves of fruit, three, five serves of veg a day, like yeah. all of that stuff. You're not eating hot dogs with vegetables. Yeah. They probably yeah. eat your steak with veggies though. Yeah, you're like, not having a quarter pounder and then asking for your fucking mixed veg on the side. Fuck. Like, I had a double quarter the other day. Yeah. Like leaked down my yeah. arm. Ugh. I was like, oh. I'm right in on the fakeaways at the moment. I don't think I have this anymore. We have uh, fake away Big Macs. Yeah. It's actually fucking lit. 
make them at home is that what you mean yeah fake yeah, away yeah. is like you make the healthier version yeah. of the thing yeah yeah. I was in the car I had a three hour drive I was hungry yeah yeah should have got a bacon hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just ask for a bacon just ask for a, a, an egg McMuffin and they'll get real pissed off at you because they have to make it in the middle fresh. of the day <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> they have to make their food fresh fuck fuck yeah so yeah so What's up, guys? So before we move on, just wanted to make sure you guys know about our free resources on the website. So go to www.stcfit.com forward slash resources and take advantage of our free body transformation guide, our SBD guide, and our body transformation quiz. The the other thing that I, like, obviously, I start spiraling down on this, like, human behavior mm. and, like, taking this train of thought to other things. And if you, if you investigate a little bit further, like... It was like, okay, so what are the, what are the classifications, and why does this sit? Where what else sits in <laughs> this like potentially carcinogenic yeah. um, category that people are happy? No to problems, on. fucking doing right. Yeah, have a guess what one, what ones in there that every single person has. I argue, every single adult would have one of these. Every single adult would use what I'm talking about. A phone, a smartphone. Yeah. How many times would you use your smartphone to drink a diet soda? Like, yeah, time the ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But ah, uh, I'm working and then, on that screen time. And then there's it's people like, much. oh, I wouldn't give, I wouldn't give like, so then you, you spiral down this this frame of thought, right? I won't give my children diet soda because mm. it's bad. Yeah. But I'll let you play on an iPad for like three hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you just haven't asked the questions and you've just built up uh, your own bias mm. around it that is contradicted by so many other things. Yeah. And then if we go another layer on top of that, you are more than happy to go and take a needle because the World Health Organization said it's okay, mm. but you won't drink diet soda. Yeah. Yeah, and the World Health Organization said that's okay. So you have the same place. Yeah. So you don't get to... Yeah, but none of the actual information that you're consuming and believing in is from the World Health Organization. It's filtered through somebody else that said it was bad and you perceive them to Correct. be an authority or the jab was, it was deemed to be good and yeah. you be an authority like your mate that was just like, oh, the government yeah. said it's fine. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you just... You don't get to choose what... You don't get to choose when to use the facts. That's my, that's my yeah. biggest gripe is like you don't get to decide when... Yeah. The data and the stuff lines up with your feelings. Like if you're going to go and sit and abide by facts, yeah. you have to do that unanimously. You know what I mean? Like if we, if someone comes out and says like, you can grow muscle now, like that's, this isn't how you grow muscle, you fools. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Just push this button. Yeah. You're <laughs> like five to 30 reps, yeah. you know, four rep in reserve to zero. Yeah. If it's proven and it makes sense. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool done doesn't matter what i said in the past like this is new updated information that's factual it has it has a body of evidence behind it yeah i don't think it's the bias though i think people just don't have the critical thinking yeah they're agreed yeah. they, just, I, they, they just, don't know where or how to ask those take questions. it from social media and then they spit it out Bro, somewhere else. tam i'm gonna ruin the podcast if i look for it so maybe try and see if you can find it yes alex homozi has a quote about yep. most people don't have an opinion on anything until they're asked then they formulate an opinion in the moment and then that's the hill to die on it's either Hormozy or Peterson. I'm not sure. I was going to say, so, do, you, do you even need me to... No, look? I nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, got my Chris Williamson on and just fucking yeah. recalled it. So, and when I heard that, I was like, holy fuck. Yep. That's say everything. Say it again. No, I can't. I forgot what it was. Now I've got stage fright. <laughs> Um, most people don't have an opinion on anything until they're asked and they yeah. formulate an opinion on the moment and that is the hill that they die on. Yeah. Mm. So you don't actually, no one actually goes through anything in enough <laughs> detail to actually say, this is the thing. Mm. Like if you watch a documentary, you're like, oh, this is that. It's like, okay, what's the uh, argument? Yep. The first thing I do when I walk a, watch a doco now is like the truth behind and the name. Yeah. Or the truth about and the name. Yeah. Um, or like scam or something like that. It's like always look up what are the people who are arguing against this thing? Yeah. And if they offer a more effective argument, maybe that's the side I take. Or at least yeah. I'm like, eh, probably somewhere in the middle. Yeah. That, yeah, it's just a skill that 
so few people have. Would have created a lot less vegetarians, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> the amount I, of people that watched that documentary and just bro. went like, I need to change everything. So I, I was get, working just, with... On that note, I, exactly to support what you said five minutes ago, I saw a comment recently in on Instagram that was like, don't you know Arnie is a vegan? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, where did you get that Even from? if he is now, it doesn't mean that <laughs> yeah. he was in the 80s. Yeah. So just the ignorance that like... Yeah. And but then yeah. someone replied, they're like, no, he just doesn't eat meat some days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah even the whole Kai Green thing, I was like vegan. It's like, yeah, cool, whatever. Like, what about the other 30, 40 years that Where he's been bodybuilding? Where you built body- all that muscle. Yeah, he's yeah. been bodybuilding. Like, Kai yeah. Green in his books. Yeah. yeah. Um, fucking sell out. Yeah, so that the... Was what the health right? That was the first one. What the health was? The, is was that the sugar one? Oh no, that was that no, sugar film. I yeah. can't keep up with them. The, yeah. What the health was the first vegan propaganda one? Yeah, yeah. Game, I was, working, was it Game Changers? Is the was second the one? one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was working with a university qualified uh, nutrition and dietetics graduate who overnight switched based on watching that. Yeah, it's incredible. That's terrifying. A university educated person who would have to have researched and cited and yeah. had the skill set. So like you could say like most of the population don't have the skill set to actually. Yeah, go to formulate to formulate a body of evidence for your argument. Correct. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. This is that, that's how you get a through university. Professional, U- university is, is actually founded on that. Like yeah. you know, especially in uh like certain uh courses and stuff. Actually, no, everything because all the sciences. What's well, hundred percent? It's truth and it's it's true or false, and then yeah. it's like if you have a, a a debate or you have to support that with a body with evidence. of evidence. Yeah, and the evidence was someone went off their diabetes medication overnight because they turned vegan. Like, are you, ask Fuck, one more fucking question. Stop. One more, just ask one more question. Yeah, yeah, it's that. True. It still irks me to this day because I'm like, because she turned that to all of her clients as well. Yeah. Straight away, like full book of clients who all came to her because she looks great. She's in shape. She's really healthy and she's very health conscious. Yeah. And then she told all of them. Yeah, you must. If you eat meat, you'll get cancer. Yeah. It's like right. they're fucked forever now. Be cool. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. The worst part is they're going to spread that because she's the authority. Yeah, it's just a carry on effect. Just, and when you talk about the the a million positive outcomes that's our mission and stuff, you can have mm. a fucking million negative ones too yeah. if you fucking don't operate in a particular manner. Mm. Um, so yeah, like I, I don't want to come across as that person who's just like against, it's like, oh, you know, the, the vegan push, I'm against it. Mm. It's like, you do whatever the fuck you like. Yeah. You know, you can, yeah. but just make make an informed decision. Yeah, Make an informed decision about your nutrition. Make an informed nutri- uh, decision about your training, your supplementation, yeah. like all of that stuff. You you are always going to assume a degree of risk. Yeah, There is nothing that is risk-free. Yeah, There is absolutely nothing that is risk-free. There's always something. And if you have the right body of evidence and you ask the right questions, mm. you know, just a couple of more, you should be able to determine whether that is actually factual or not. What's up, guys? So before we move on, just a little bit more information for those people who are curious about coaching. Maybe they want someone to take care of their training, get a bit more specific, take it to the next level, or even just keep them accountable to all of the things that they need to do. So again, you guys can go onto the website, get a little bit more information. It's got all the information on there on what's involved to take your training to the next level. You can hit the inquiry button, and then we'll get on a strategy call and see what we can do for you. Do you think it's because we're not programmed to have access to this much information? So for, cause like we compartmentalize and categorize everything, right? Yeah. So if you see, I don't know, what were we talking about before? Like the money thing, the cleaner. Yeah, the cleaner. Yeah. So you compartmentalize it. Everyone has a cleaner as an asshole. Because yeah. money means you're a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone that well, a lot of people that I've been exposed to with money were dicks, or just media portrays it that way. Yep. Yeah. I put that in a box and I don't have to think about it anymore. That's just my opinion. And that's how I do life. Yeah. Yeah. Because it if you had to actually process every piece of information, it'd be too overwhelming. Mm. So we just go to people that we rely on and be like, you say the thing. I and do then the thing. I'll take that on board. I think expecting and this is where like people shit on GPs and the the health system and blah 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 blah. It's like people who are health conscious are like, oh, the fucking GP put someone on like a 
uh, what's the name of that drug that like stops your hunger? Uh, semaglutide. Azempic. Azempic, yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, fucking doctors don't know what they're talking about. Or doctors tell you just not to train and to rest and to don't deadlift anymore, blah, blah, blah. It's like doctors work with general population. Yeah. A hundred times a day. And what percentage of highly invested individuals that go to a medical, an allied health professional yeah. and pay $120 to get a treatment yeah. don't do their fucking rehab? Yeah. G- GP <laughs> is like acutely curative as well. Yeah. So their, their whole uh, intention is Make to feel better. find a way to solve the immediate anguish. Yeah. There's no rules for them. Yeah. It can be a pill. It can be a mm-hmm. behavior change. Yeah. Like they're, they're essentially doing their job when you actually- It's hard. Break it down and yeah. just look at it from that. Yeah. And I understand like obviously the um, the hormone-based um, help. I don't know what you're talking Contraception. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. They're like, oh, they just fucking put you on the pill and they don't tell you how bad it is, blah, 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 blah. It's like- it, I totally agree that every woman from 14 mm. should start learning yeah. how all these hormones impact your body, how yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But what actual percentage of people are going to? Yeah. What's well, no different to the nutrition conversation we had on the last podcast. It's yeah. like, it's kind of on you to actually learn how your body, yeah. how to look after your body yeah. and what you put in it. And if you, you can't get mad at, a, a symptom of it's actually a symptom of the culture not that the thing's wrong mm. like the medical system's not broken necessarily no. like, of course it is there's huge holes in it yeah but it's how many people are willing to actually go through what's needed to get to the where they need to get to yeah they're just assuming that the person in authority be it a dietitian yeah doctor whoever is just giving you this out of their best interest and it's the be- like the, your your best interest long term yeah yeah it's on you to actually understand how to look after yourself long term yeah and you've also got to consider all of your friends that you get mad at because they don't behave in, and look after themselves mm-hmm. your doctor treats them too yeah so you can't giving a complex answer in yeah. that environment isn't going to work no and it goes against like their immediate role which is to cure in Correct. front immediately yeah yeah it's a it's it's a really interesting. So that critical thinking, that curiosity, that personal responsibility, all of that becomes really important. Mm. Do you reckon people just aren't capable of it? Some people aren't capable of... Uh, what's the... Is it comprehension? Is that the... I don't know. Is that what it is? I don't think it's a comprehension issue for most people. I think... It's before that. It's... Rogan actually talks about this all the time. Well, what's the activity of like, it, it's a process. I just can't think of it now because we've spoken way too much this week where you are trying to piece things together to make sense of it. That's comprehension, right? Yeah. Comprehension is understanding. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, it'll come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Rogan talks about like, he refers more so to like politics and stuff like that. And even just like the phone thing, right? Yeah. We kinda know that the phone on the table at some point there's people someone died for it yeah there's some kind of slavey bad stuff that happens for that phone to exist right now yeah but we all kind of just don't think about it yeah because if i think about everything yeah like well the tables from ikea what's ikea's legitimacy how far down that chain do i need to look where do they get their supplies from what about the fake plant? What about the book? What about the did that author ever do anything wrong? Like, you know what I mean? It's just so yeah, much. Yeah, where do you draw a line? So he was sort. He's sort of like. So you wake up, your family, fucking chaos at home. You drive to the job that you hate. You're busy all fucking day. You go home. The last thing you want to do is like mm. go on the World Health Organization website and yeah, read whether true. or not aspartame is bad. Someone said it was bad on the internet. Done. Yeah. Like, it's just... Yeah, I can see how that... It's just easier. Yeah, feel you. Especially if you don't prioritize it the way we would, we do. Yeah, but is that because people aren't capable of asking the right questions? Because, like, you... I think you, a lot of people aren't taught to, definitely. Yeah, because you go... Yeah. So, the one... the Like, I, I talk very... I'm very neutral on my, my university uh, experience. Yeah. 
um, mainly because I was I didn't really like the culture, mm. and I didn't really like the fact that I went into every year with someone telling me that I wasn't going to get a job out of it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I'm fucking, this is going to be like $25,000 by the end of this. And you're telling me like, I don't There's have no work. a pathway. Yeah. So that was where I was really against the, mm. the system because of it. But what it really did teach me how to do was ask questions and find answers. Yeah. You know, we had to take excursions to like, like I'm talking like finding answers for shit that happened like hundreds of years ago. Mm. Like I had to go to the state library. Mm-hmm. I had to go into an archive section and you had to pull out these fucking canisters, right? Yeah. And then you had to put it in this old ass fucking machine and it had a magnifying glass. And then you had to take these snapshot photos yep. and they fucking, bro, they were printing them out on like A3 mm-hmm. pieces of paper. And then I had to go through and highlight, I had to read it obviously. And I had to go through and highlight like all of the shit that I was going to put in my essay to formulate my argument, debate, statement, yep. whatever it was. So that was a really, really valuable skill mm. that I didn't get taught how to do. But like, but even before that, even as a kid, I was always really curious. Like I remember just like asking my dad, like, um, you know, I'd be like, we used to have a really fast car. So we had like a V8, it was whatever, like, you know. And I remember like, I was always really curious. I'm like, dad, why is this car faster than this one? Like they both got four wheels. They're both, yeah. you know, like... How does, like, if this car gets to 100 and this car gets to 100, aren't they the same speed? Yeah. And dad was like, no, it doesn't work like that. Like, it's like mm-hmm. when the power is distributed, how much of it gets distributed at one time, mm-hmm. this one can go beyond it. And I was like, okay. So it's just like, that's like an experience there. I'm like, okay, well, I have potentially the curious mind to ask that next question. Yeah. So I just wonder if, like, people just don't have it. They're just like, uh, that car's faster than that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're going on a tangent, but they're just like the Fast and the Furious concept. Just like, oh, they just change gears again or they just like put their yeah. foot down. Just gear down and it yeah. always makes you go faster. Went yeah. go-karting with... <laughs> the first time I took Amy go-karting, uh, I think Dan might have even been there, but dad definitely was. And we were just passing her down the straight. Yeah. She's like, how come you're so much faster than me? Like my foot's flat. How come you just drive past me? I'm like, no, no, no it's when I put my foot flat. And what yeah. the cart's doing at the time, I put my foot flat. Yeah. And how fast I went through yeah. the last corner compared to you, which is like, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, it's like, it's that you watch Fast and Furious and it's like, there's just another gear. Yeah. Or like, I can always push my foot further. Like, it, yeah. It's the same. Like, you don't, people mm-hmm. like you and me watch that and just like, oh, yeah, it doesn't make it. sense. <laughs> stop doing <laughs> that. It's just a symptom of social media. Well, it's just like, it's I fed actually, you and I think you it just it. feeds, I think it's just feeding those people. I yeah, actually I think, think it's it worse. Because it's so easy to... No, well, if you're in the 60s, you yeah. have to do what Jace did to get information. Yep. Mm. So, yeah, is it in, in an inherent trait, the curiosity? Is it a learned trait of critical thinking? Is it a well natural or learned personality type that is... Because everyone's curious as a kid. Like you do the fucking the mm. three-year-old why thing. Mm. sometimes it's encouraged and you could argue it's nature nurture if you get told because I said so forever then you just stop asking true same as school true yeah if you have parents who are just like just tell, do what the fucking teacher told you to do yeah then your whole life is around just accepting yeah. what comes to yeah. you whatever is by said, an authority yeah and it's like you respect your elders so whatever they say is yeah so you the, know, you're not encouraged to question and, yeah. and it's like you're actually a really difficult child to raise if you question everything all the time yeah um so maybe it's a little bit of its nurture. Mm. I think there are potentially more curious human beings than other people are not. Mm. So I think there's a lot of layers that go into getting to 30 and still being curious. Yeah. I think a lot of people have given up by now. It's too yeah. hard. Well, that's yeah, what I, I guess mean. like it's, it's hard. Like it's, all, it's all fed to us nowadays from multiple sources. So you don't ha- you lose that drive to actually ask questions. Just disconnected yeah. maybe. I think all it, all the social media does is amplify what would have been 10 people. Yeah. Is now like an awesome. algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon in the past like you just wouldn't have spoken on it. Like if someone like you know how you were like they just make up whatever it is on the spot and like live and die by it. Yeah. If you don't have like I think depending on the topic you would just say back in the day like cuz you never would have seen it. Yeah. You would have just been like oh, I don't know. And it would have been happy to, you would have happy to happily said that. Yeah. You know, cause it like outside of the ego death that it comes with, like, you know, people say to me like, well, mm. what about this? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm happy to say like, yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. Or is it, is it more frowned upon now to not know? 
Yeah, well, that's interesting. Well, or if it's like, or not even that, it's just the fact that like, say, say it's thirty years ago, and like you never come across this diet drink situation, right? Mm. Bringing it back. So if someone says something about it thirty years ago, you're just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like it's even like people fucking just puffing cigarettes like nothing, yeah. like you know what I mean? Because like, they never know, no yeah. one knew. Yeah, and then so fast forward like thirty years, and you see all of these TikToks and you know you go on Facebook and there's like just a headline you don't read the article obviously yeah and it's just like aspartame World Health Organization says that aspartame gives you cancer yeah so you you don't know but someone asks you and you only think of that yeah because because your attention is yeah. being brought to it but yeah, you have to give an answer and but you're not going to sit there and say you don't know anymore because you're going to go off the fact that you do know but you know that Yes, it's, it's interesting which one comes... Is it a cultural... Because of that, you're expected to have an answer to, though? Mm. So you're saying, I don't know. Yeah, I There's a, more of a fear around, I don't know, because It's like, well, how, do you, how don't you know now? Yeah. we have... A phone. We have this yeah. in our pockets kind of thing, yeah. It's also something else to really fucking just, like, hit really hard with me is in the current environment, you're judged on what you say, not what you do. Yeah, and yeah, I put a post up a, uh, a little while ago now and it's like you actually want to see the people doing what they say yeah, and that you actually should have more respect for those people even if they do it in lesser frequency. Yeah, whereas, yeah, now you're judged by your... judged by what you say more than... is it? Yeah, it's mm. thoughts more than deeds, I think. Yeah. So if you post your thoughts, that is positively reinforced greater... Because if you feed the homeless dude without filming it, yeah, there's no recognition except from that dude. Yeah. If you post the homeless problem in Melbourne so bad, we yeah. really should do something about it. Yeah. It's, you have way more people actually engage with that, you, even you, though you fucking did nothing. I was gonna say you could have never actually fed a homeless person. Yeah. You you like uh, I think that's uh, Chris Williamson put up something like that many yeah. moons ago. Yeah. Uh, and he was saying some people even just use it as a tactic to build an agenda and build a, a tribe. 100%. And they're actually not even about the things that they say. So, yeah. So seeing someone who actually is being about it mm -hmm. is mega when you're following yeah. uh, someone for their message. Yeah. And that's like you have the, like the fucking, we went through the one like one prayer phase. I was like, it's, it's nothing. What happened to one like, send a fucking dollar? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, want to yeah. actually make a difference? Do something. Yeah, I understand. And like, yeah, it's just... You get right You get right, right in on that too. <laughs> Does me. <laughs> I, I think know. we're almost due for Are You OK Day and like my rant's already ready every year. Yeah. It fucking does my head in. Yeah. It's like enough. the amount of people that will put that up that... But don't actually... I know you've never fucking yeah. reached out to anyone ever. Yeah. It's like... Oh, here's my yellow square for the day. There's my good deed. I'm a good person. Mm. Like my post. Yeah, that does me. So Was it like virtue, virtue signal? Yeah. 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 Collo good colloquially, because I wrote a piece on it. Oh, big word. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple <laughs> syllables. Look out. <laughs> refer, refer to that as, as well. Um, call it selectivism. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 Very popular. Selectivism. Yeah. It's like the vision. Yeah. So it's like activism, oh, not but vision. you just, yeah, yeah. just like throw something up. Yeah, I like it. Done my piece. I love that. Yeah. That's I try cool. and make a real point of only talking about stuff I only I actually care about. Yeah. Yeah. I only, I, I, I'm I, so against that virtue signaling that like, I just don't tell people of the good deeds that I do. Yeah. I just do them. Mm. I don't need to tell you that like, mm. I donate to this. Yeah. If a dog comes up that's in need on the rescue, I'll happily. Yeah. <laughs> Won't even question sending money. Yeah, if it needs an operation or something. If this is like a homeless student in the street, I'll give him money. Like I don't, I don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're fucking going places. So I was, I was going to talk about recovery, but uh, <laughs> not today. What so. are we doing? What are we doing for time? Over an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Done. good. That was really good. Did a that's, human that's behavior. We're very neutral on that, even though we kind of got swayed. I feel like we kind of went both sides. Like this is why people think this way, but this is what. You yeah, we yelled think. at them and then understood them. Yeah, we gave them. <laughs> you know what we did? We gave them hope. Yeah. <laughs> Be better. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. the takeaway is just. I hope making just a, one. Just ask one more question. Yeah. About make, everything. Yeah, and you'll make more informed decisions yeah. about things. Yeah. About everything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Drink your diet soda if you feel like it. Yeah.
My mum said I got water now. Yeah, I can't have, wait to go home. To, to yeah, we should have just cracked a nice uh, <laughs> pasito. <laughs> just started necking it. All right. Well, if you're still here and you're not upset, mm. like, share, sub, follow, even comment. Just let us know what you think about what we just spoke about. Yeah. If you're on the, on the fence either side, love to hear your thoughts. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.